Hello, welcome to another How to Code Well video tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at um, looping over PHP arrays. So I have a PHP array here, and we can see that the uh, left hand side of this array here, which is the key, is a string. So that's the same on all accounts of this array. So the string here is the item name of the order. So we've got PHP ebook. Its value is the cost. So the uh, the item the key is the PHP ebook and the value is five. Now the challenge here is to output all of the items and their costs. So we need to somehow create a loop that loops over and iterates over each of these um, these elements in this orders array and output both the key, which is the name of the order, as well as their value, which is the cost. The next challenge is to find the sum of all the costs. So the, this is adding up each of these, so 5, 15, and 2. OK, so how do we go about doing this? Well, there's many ways we can loop over an array in PHP. Today, we're going to focus on using the for each loop. And we start by typing in for each. And I'm just going to uh, close and open the brackets and the braces. Put that on another line. Now, what we need to do is pass in the orders array as the first argument of the for each loop. So we're saying loop over the orders array, and we need to assign a we need to assign each of the values to a variable. So we do as order. So we're saying here loop over the orders. So for each orders. Um, assign the value of each of, of the order or each of the orders to the variable order. So let's just do a var dump and let's just see what we've got. So we're going to var dump order and let's run that. Okay, so we've got three, uh, three results, 5, 15 and 2. So these are the values of each of the orders. So we've iterated over each of the orders and we've output each of the values, 5, 15, and 2. But we also need the keys. So what we're going to do is have a space, and then we're going to do an equal sign, greater than, so it's an arrow, and then we're going to have uh, cost. Now, if I was to run this again, you'll notice that the order has changed from the value to the key, and I'll explain in a minute why that's happened. So let's run that. And we can see that now order is set to the to the key. Okay, so if I was to create another var dump, whoops, of just the cost, like so, we can see that we now have both the keys and the values. So it's um it's worth remembering that a for each without this uh, equal and uh, greater than symbol will just return the values. But if you include that, you're also getting the keys. So that's the key and that's the value. So order is um, on the left hand side. So that's the, the name of the order and the cost will be the cost. So the first, the first challenge is to output all of the items and their costs. So what I'm going to do is just echo each one. So echo item name. And I'm going to concat that to the order. So that's the key. And I'm going to concat that to costs. And then put in the cost. And I'm also going to create a new line. Let's run that and see what we get. OK, so what we've done is we've iterated over each of the orders and we've um, returned a new line and on that line it is item name colon the name of the item which in this case is the key so that's the order and we've saying costs and we've added the value of that uh, element of the array so costs and 5 15 and 2 and so forth so that's the first challenge done the second challenge then is to find the total sum of all the costs so that's uh, adding all of the the values together. So let's do that. So we're going to create a new variable and we're going to just call that total and we're going to set that to be zero to begin with. And under here we're just going to have 
echo total cost. We're going to concat that to be, oops, to be total. And I'm also going to put that on a, another line. Okay, so let's uh, run that again, and we can see that the total cost is set to zero because it is. So how do we go about um, assigning or calculating uh, the cost and setting that to the variable total on each iteration? Well, you do that by putting in total is equal to cost. Now, if I was to just run this, it would, for each time it runs, it's just going to set total to the last cost. So that's going to return the last cost in each of the of the loop. So in this case, it's just going to be set to two. And I'll run that and then I'll explain why. So here we've got two. Now that's because we're not actually adding the previous cost to this total amount. Okay, so in order to do that, let me just clear that screen and I'll run that again just as a, as a reference. So in order to do that, in order to add the previous um, variables value to the total, we need to say that total is equal to total plus the cost. Because the let's say we've done, we, we, we're on the last iteration, so let's say we're now working on the coffee. So we've already got the keyboard and the PHP costs because they were the previous ones. So the variable total has already been defined, has already been assigned. So what we want to do is is increment that, or not increment that, but we want to um, uh, add the the new total, the new cost to this total variable. So that's what we're doing here. We're saying the total is equal to total, which would be set to the previous total amount, plus the cost. So now we're doing the echo total cost is equal to total. So let's run that and we should get a better um, return. Yes, so total cost is equal to 22. And that is the sum amount of these three items in the orders array. Okay, so that's a, a very quick, brief way of explanation of how the for each in PHP works. If you've got any questions, then please let me know. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to get the next tutorial. If you have any comments, questions or queries, then please leave them in the comment section below. Alternatively, you can tweet them to my Twitter handle, which is PFWD. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.